Hello, my name is Austin with KVRX Austin, and we are here with Thax Douglas, poetry extraordinaire, um, and we have some questions for him. So, Thax, you are normally known for, I guess, reciting poetry before bands. Um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, Twelve years. Have you always been in Austin for this time? I mean, I've only been seeing you for the past year or so now. No, I've been in Chicago until a year ago. I moved just before ACL of last year. Why, why did you start uh, reciting poetry before, yeah, before bands? I started as a novelty, and I found it suited my aesthetic needs, so I kept doing it. And then I found out that bands like it and audiences, so I just kept doing it. How did you exactly get into this? I mean, it, I mean, it's definitely interesting. You're probably the only person who actually does this, and audiences and bands love it, as you said. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, how, how did you kind of fall into this? Um, just, just like I said, it was a novelty, and uh, bands like it. That's the main thing, you know. When I started doing it, I didn't realize that many bands would like it. I thought some bands would like it, and uh, but it turns out most bands like it. So, I, and I don't get bored doing it. So that's why I do it so much. Does the music influence like the individual poems? Yeah, the the poems always influenced by the band's music, and usually a live show. Um, so. Is that like, do you put on an album or like a band's album before you go, uh, before you do that or? Sometimes to refresh my memory, but it's usually based on the last live show I'd seen by that band. Ha has being in Austin afforded you more opportunities, like because this is a music city or, or how do you like Austin in comparison to Chicago? Well, Chicago, Chicago's not a good place to be creative. Austin is much more, uh, willing to accept the creative type than Chicago is. So, the music scene's really good here. Chicago's more of a scene for people in the industry, like booking agents and publicity agents and stuff like that. Not so much for actual artists, but in uh, Austin, creativity itself is valued. Like your your poetry, it's it's very um, it, it it can go from anywhere like from like what I've heard, it can go from anywhere to like I guess like, um, like biting. Like it makes you think. Like like it's very it's very provocative. Um, it, which is very surprising. Like for like the bands that you, for the bands that you open up for or whatever. It's it and it, I, I guess like um, does it does it come from within you or is it just the music or or what are you trying to to do with your poetry? It's both. It's where I come in contact with the band. It's that area. So the, the, the poem's about the band's music, but it's also about where I'm at at any particular time. But uh, uh, hopefully what happens is fans of the band also pick up on what's going on in the poem because, you know, you know, all fans of a certain band basically feel the same way about that band. Th just thank you so much. All right. You know, this is I'm Austin with Thax Douglas for KVRX Austin, and thank you. I'm thank sorry you. I didn't look at the camera. Thank you so much. You don't have yeah, the camera, you I'm know. about to ride a pump for Polvo, so I'm kind of thinking about that. Really Th uh, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs>